name is Albert Noronha. I am a research associate at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine and uh, my main area of expertise is to do software development in the biomedical context. I think what excites me most about the work is the fact that you get to um, talk and, and work with people from different fields. So as a software developer, I get to work with biologists, people who have a background in biochemistry, but also computer, computer scientists and so on. So that's re really interesting in my point of view. This paper is basically a description of the virtual metabolic human. So the, the, the VMH is, is a resource that combines information on metabolism coming from different sources. Um, the, the, the main resources of, of, of the database are the human metabolism pathways, uh, the microbiome pathways and, and how uh, they can possibly interact with each other and bringing also in uh, an angle on nutrition, possible connections to diseases and on top of that uh, visualization of this metabolic pathways in a Google-like uh, fashion. So the, the novelty here is that we started integrating all this information that is kind of scattered. Um, there is no resource for instance that brings in um, the idea of uh, modeling nutrition in, in the context of, of metabolic modeling. Um, another thing that uh, we always find uh, in a sense uh, burdensome was that if you want to learn about which metabolic pathways are affected in a specific disease, you might have to open three different resources, while the VMH tries to bring all of this together in a very quickly manner. The main things that, that VMH brings is what we call like a unified nomenclature. Um, and this is this has a, an advantage, for instance, when you're trying to understand how the microbiome interacts with its host. It, with VMH, it's very easy to, to, to in, investigate these points of interaction, so what are the potential interactions between specific organisms between themselves and the host. So anyone who's trying to understand how the microbiome contributes to specific phenotypes can use the VMH as a starting point to try to, to formulate hypotheses. Well, the, the most obvious answer is of course people working in metabolic modeling field. Um, those have a direct benefit because we not only share this information but we also share the reconstructions um, that, that we generate in the group. Um, but also, I, I, I would argue that this resource is becoming more and more useful to just any researcher who has a general interest in metabolism and with a specific case, I think, the microbiome as well, the microbiome community. The future for the VMH, I think, is, is there are two main um, avenues. One, one of them is, is expanding the content, so adding more. There's, there's so much that we still don't know and that we can explore. So adding more data, adding more resources. Um, and the second one, I think, it's adding up new functionality. So trying to bring uh, some of the, the, the methods that people have to do outside VMH, try to bring them in. So have, for instance, uh, an ecosystem where you can actually directly make some, to some degree, some of the simulations within the VMH and really make it a central repository for, for this type of uh, research. If I can, can use maybe my, my personal journey, I, I would always encourage anyone who's interested in changing fields to do it. It's always, I, I came from an informatics engineering background and I think I learned so much by, by getting into contact with, with people from different fields. So, so I would always encourage to make that leap and, and take that risk and, and go do a PhD or a master's in something that you're not familiar with.